Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about what an Ethernet pass-through on the back of an IP phone is, what it is, how it works, and how it can save you from having to run a bunch of unnecessary wiring in your home office or in your business office. So let's jump right into it. So this is an Ethernet pass-through on the back of an IP phone. Specifically, this is actually a Yealink T54W. Um, but not just the Yealink T54Ws have an Ethernet pass-through. This is a pretty common thing on most uh, IP phones these days that are not a cordless phone, obviously. Uh, most desktop style IP phones, this is a pretty standard thing. And basically what this allows you to do is to come in here with a cable coming from your switcher router that is coming from obviously your internet or network to supply the phone with its um, internet. Um, and also power if you have a power over Ethernet um, switcher router and a power over Ethernet compatible phone, which this one is. But in short, so your Internet comes in here like any other IP phone. And then the pass through part is this where it says PC. Usually on most phones, this will say PC. On some other phones like this old Polycom VVX 300 that I also have in the office, you can see that the input port for the internet just shows a network type thing. Basically means like network. And then it has an icon instead of saying PC like the Yealinks usually do, the Polycoms will usually have a symbol that actually shows a PC or laptop signifying that you can come out of that pass-through port and go to another device to give it internet. So in short, or in layman's terms, what this pass-through does is it allows for you to come in with internet here, and then whereas in most homes or most traditional offices, you'd have a separate Cat5 or Cat6 cable RAN for phone and internet, you can actually come or you can actually come out of this phone in this pass-through and go to a PC. So essentially, you could run internet for your phone and then have run internet for your computer off the same wire. So what are the advantages of a pass-through like this? Why would somebody need something like this? Um, first of all, like I said before, it would reduce the amount of cabling. With working from home at the time of this video becoming a very common thing, I've gotten many, many calls from people that say, hey, Prince, um, I need a voice over IP phone system so that I can work from home or so we can set up a home office. But, um, you know, I only have one wire that's in my home office or in my area of study that's for the internet for the phone, you know. Running cable through a house, I can tell you guys, because I used to do structured wiring in a previous life, running cable in a commercial outfit is not that big of a deal. It it's, tends to be easier with tile ceiling. In a home, it can be not only extremely invasive on the aesthetics and on the structure of a house, it can be extremely expensive. So in short, it's better to have something like this and use an existing cable that you probably already have because everybody's got internet in their office and then come out of this port and go back into your PC or desktop or laptop or whatever it may be. So um, in short, that's basically what a pass-through is. In layman's terms, it is an appliance on the back of most IP phones made at the time of this video that allows for you to take one cable that it may be in your home office or in your physical office and share the internet between two devices in this scenario, i.e. this IP phone. And then we could say respectively your um, desktop computer or whatever may be next to you. One last quick uh, thing that I want to throw out there, kind of a pro tip. At the time of this video, most phones on the market that have a pass-through like this, it is in 10 1000, meaning it is a gigabit pass-through. There are some older phones out there and some current newer lower-end phones that have a pass-through like this, but it is not a gigabit pass-through. It's what's called a 10 100 instead of a 10 1000. Why is this important? If you're somebody that's just got, say, like one uh, phone on the network in your home office or you've got, say, two or three phones in your commercial or home office, it's not a big deal. A port, a pass-through like this that doesn't support gigabit internet may not be a big deal, but if you are somebody who has a lot of phones in an office, say like some of the offices that we work with at the time of this video that have got 14 IP phones in the office, 20 IP phones, 
We're working with one right now that has 58 IP phones and just finished working with one that had 38 IP phones. And we've got another that we're working on that's looking at 264 potential IP phones in a call center. This pass-through, if it's not gigabit, can become a serious bottleneck. Why? Okay, so let's say that you've got gigabit fiber in your office, okay? You come into this pass-through that's only 10-100 and it doesn't support gigabit. This pass-through becomes your bottleneck. So then when you come out of this, where it says PC, to go into another device, i.e. a laptop, i.e. a desktop, i.e. another phone, you have now restricted your gigabit internet to only 100 megabit internet. Um, again, for most of you who are watching this video, it shouldn't be a big deal because A, you're probably not big enough to where this will become a problem or cause bottlenecking issues on your network for the device that you're going out to to supply it with internet. And for many of you, um, you may only have like one to three phones or something like that, so it's not a big deal. For those of you watching this video that have medium size to large deployments, you need to make sure that whatever IP phones you go with, whether you're buying it separately like from somebody like VOIP Supply or you're getting it from the carrier, make sure this is a gigabit capable pass-through. Make sure it's not 10100. So that concludes this video on what is a uh, pass-through port or a gigabit pass-through. Um, that's essentially what it is. It is for most people, its direct immediate benefit is it means that you don't have to run a bunch of wires if you are looking to adopt voice over IP and you are set up in a scenario where you don't have enough wires but you've got just enough for one location like one desktop computer in each area. You can effectively share that wire, save the money and the headache of having to run a bunch of wires in your office by just utilizing this pass-through and share internet for your new IP phone with your voice over IP service and your computer appliance nearby on the same wire. So anyways, Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget that I am your go-to guy for the best deals on business phone and internet service in the United States. I can get you better deals than if you shop the carriers direct. So give me a shout or drop me an email. I will talk to you guys again in the next video.